right there. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to RWM. I'm here with Southridge RC, Raul. Uh, we're here talking a little bit about, you know, what we have done in the last year. I talked to him about a year, a little bit of over a year and a half yes. ago. About and, years. you know, the last time we had this conversation, we were doing it through Zoom. And if you guys haven't seen that interview, you're going to see it right up in here. Uh, click on that to see our interview from a year and a half ago and what he had planned to do. Uh, a lot has happened. He, he's created this track. He's created a lot of traction for this course or for Southridge. And then he started selling bridges as well. Uh, we don't forget about the bridges, man. Yeah. yeah. Those bridges were pretty cool. But you said were, wood, so, wood prices shot up and, and things get expensive. Yeah. At the end of the day, it gets expensive and people, you know, weren't trying to pay premium prices for the wood. Yeah. So it is what it is. But those. But you made some awesome bridges, which are still there. Some yeah, of them are still there. A lot of them are still there. I'm going to keep making them. It's but, just, you know. And then you got the haters, man. You know, I <laughs> know I went one time and your one of the bridges was broken. Yeah. And so that happens. was cool. And then you wanted to get more people out here, get them more involved. You had at least one event every mm -hmm. three quarters. Or yeah. Excuse me, not three quarters. At least every quarter. Every quarter. quarter. Every three months. <laughs> uh, which, you know, the first one was a little small and I felt like each time it just got bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. You had more sponsors, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And it's just a great turnout. And then there was a turn of events to Southridge Park. The city decided what they want to do. The city they decided. wanted to claim this part of the city uh, abandoned by the public. Which means that they would sell this land uh, to a uh, real estate uh, for them to build more prop, build houses at, up here. Um, I know we were trying to get petitioned, you, yeah. you, or you try to get a lot of petition out there. You had a conversation with uh, the city council, but at least they heard you though, which yeah. was good. They heard you, and unfortunately, they still went ahead and approved it. Yeah. But to every, as I say, whatever door closes, there's always another opportunity, yep. and. So now you're planning to open up a new, new, location. new location, which is a couple miles down the street from here, which is on the other side of this mountain, way on the other side, um, and which is cool. And they're giving the opportunity to build that. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. What's going on? So the new location is going to be at Martin Tudor Park in Fontana, located on Sierra and Jerupa. It's right next door to uh, Splash Park. So uh, Splash Park is already there. So what it is, is it's just a big dirt lot it's a lot nicer a lot more barbecue areas a lot more picnic areas a lot more shade way more grass um the rock crawling is actually on the parking lot so it's maybe like within two minutes you're already rock crawling you know you're already hitting some pretty hard decent lines um the parking lot we're gonna try to open that up for uh, street cars uh, maybe possibly some drifting depending on what type of concrete we get laid laid out we're gonna have a bashing area, track A, track B, and a track C. So a total of four tracks that are already approved by the city. Um, all it is right now is just getting the blueprints out, blueprinting everything, giving them our ideas, what we need, um, you know, like power, uh, where do we need water, um, where we might need lights, you know, uh, those such things. All right, that's pretty cool. So there's, it's, so it's a lot more in debt than what we have here. Yeah. So there's going to be light, there's going to be maintenance. Yeah. So the city is going to be a little bit more responsible for it than it is out here. Yeah. They're I mean, gonna, there's nothing wrong with it out here. <laughs> oh, no. No, but the other one, the city, they want to make everything legit. Like, they seen what other... I'm pretty sure you guys are already seen all their tracks out there, especially the ones run out by the cities. They're more commercial, more, a lot more straight edge. So that's what the city is trying to approach and trying to make that approach. Okay. The main thing that I'm pushing for though is that free entrance, you know, um, a place to go to, a place for anyone to go, the free entrance. And then like another thing that you were talking about too is uh, the main factor is having this place um, uh, handicap accessible. Well, handicap accessible will mean um, having areas where you don't have to go up too high, you know, because I know there's people that get um, elevation sickness or, you know, they just can't go all the way up. Yeah. People in wheelchairs, um, people in crutches, you know, let's say, you know, you're good, but, you know, you just have a, a yeah. broken leg that time of the year. You know, you can't go up, but you still want to crawl or you still want to RC. 
you're, you'll still have the opportunity to do that and, and, and get up there no matter what the situation is. Yeah, this community is so much larger than just the, the willing and able. There's so many people out there that want to do it and you know, knowing that you're out there with the city working to put these plans together and have, making sure everybody of all ages can go out there and anybody who's you know handicapped or it can't really get up to like you said a broken leg or something but still want to go out there you know it gives them great opportunity um what do you think the turnaround time is for the spot to open up what do you what's we're looking about um the city was pushing by the end of this year but we're having a couple of uh issues with the fire department just trying to find out which road they're going to be needing to take for fire access so we're we're uh it's going to be starting by the end of this year, the construction is going to start. Hopefully, we can get our event going before the construction starts. But we're saying by by uh, summer of next year, it should maybe be uh, already there. Man, I, um, I'm super excited. And and now you know, I know there's a couple of people out there probably watching. What's going to happen with your events, your 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 swap me events? Um, they're going to be moved on over there. All so right. I'm pushing for the next one to be sometime. Um, this November, December, I'm already out there clearing up a bunch of trails. Me and my um, a few other guys, a big shout out to, you know, RC Dusko has been helping me out there, you know, clearing a lot of the trails. Um, I also have a lot of volunteers, you know, always willing to come out and, and help. But, you know, the thing is, um, uh, you know, I could only take a certain amount of people out there, you know, <laughs> before the city tells me, you know, uh, what are you you're doing? doing? Too yeah. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Yeah, yeah, you're doing too much. But, um, but hopefully by by the end of this year should have another RC swap meet going on and maybe we'll have you know a little track set up something for the bashers no man that's and that's what we're we're hoping we're always looking forward to it and it's just it was nice you know nice having this little spot for a while we had it whenever you have an opportunity come out and you know have fun on these uh BMX court uh um, still there it's still here it's still here I, I think yeah you enjoy it and you know I wish a lot more people knew about it, um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. But you know, it was it was a great plan. I mean, a year years worth of having fun out here and having these events, which is awesome. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of people could say, you know, did something like that. So a lot what, of memories made. Hell yeah, dude! I've had a lot of memories out here. So what is the next plan? What What are you planning to do? What's uh, what my you, next plan um, right now? So what I'm currently doing is I'm working on blueprints. Uh, the thing about this new spot is there's a lot of trees, like I said, which is good, a lot of shade spots. I had to work with going around those trees. I still gotta go out, so let's say if I just, I can't just draw out uh, a track and just give it to the city. I have yeah. to actually go, um, set up little pinpoints, actually drive the car out there, test it, and make sure that the car, the physics, and everything works out. So right now what it is is just, you know, I'm taking in track ideas, um, the bashing area, that we're gonna, that's gonna be the main course, the main feature. So for that, it's gonna be just an offer off freestyle, something more like of a monster jam uh, type style arena for the bashing area. Um, but right now it's just all about taking in ideas. Uh, it's all about coming together, putting a plan together and making sure that, you know, we continue to grow this community. And I love it because it doesn't matter where you've gone or where you've been everybody's so welcoming and yeah. they're willing to help you out with the rcs and and you're talking about rcs your rc head collections grown now yeah uh i mean when you first started you had the little fox truck the 110 yeah the slash the little slash and now you're like how many rcs do you have now because that was like uh, one or I two when know. i talked to you a year. <laughs> this was a year ago and you only had like one or two of them um, and you're telling you're, you're showing them off a little bit and now you got rock crawlers you got full builds yeah how many you got now for, um i don't oh. know maybe like don't worry the wife's not the wife's not li listening i don't know like i think like a good i don't not that many <laughs> maybe like 10 12 cars he's humble he's humble it's like i don't know man 10 12 i don't know it's a <laughs> <laughs> i still need more though <laughs> we always need more and then you know there's the possibilities are endless with these mm -hmm. RCs because it is and then you got the 124 scale you got 10 scale you got the 8 scale you want to go fast you want to go slow you want to drift it's just yeah man the the possibilities are endless very endless um stay tuned you know uh, hopefully within the next couple months we'll give you guys updates about what's going on with the track what's next and you know just uh, just enjoy the beauty of this park right now 
and in about a year and a half from now two years it's all going to be homes which is real sad to see uh, so you know if in your local community you guys are having trouble and don't know how to reach out to your city council reach out to our wool he's definitely going to help you out he could help you and, and say what you guys need to do yep. try to petition it you know, unfortunately you know we didn't succeed but the thing is that we were able he was able to get us all a better track on the other side of the hill which is awesome but still uh, just take a look at what we have here and and how beautiful it is during the day. It's midsummer. I mean, it's like 90 degrees out here, but with these trees and everything, it's, it's, it feels great. Well, man, you know what? Sign us off, man. Once again, my name is Mike, and this is Raul from Southbridge RC. Where, where can we find you at, man? Uh, she. I What's mean, your Instagram handle? <laughs> <laughs> Southbridge underscore RC. So, all right, guys. Until next time. this video yet so we had a sneak peek oh man go to the i know right all right here we go there's a little sneak peek of robo's video with traxxas but you're gonna have to wait and see you're gonna have to wait you're gonna have to wait make sure you go ahead and uh you tune in to this channel subscribe to this channel make sure you follow on instagram until this video drops Yay!